Alright, so now that the box is all built, it's done, but it's not quite yet ready to go. So I was kind of talking about some of the issues with drywall earlier. One of the things is that because it's a basically a commercial, it's an industrial product, one thing to keep in mind is that this may have other things in it along with the gypsum, like you know, certain heavy metals. And so one of the things is that sometimes drywall will outgas and release some nasty stuff into the air, especially when it gets hot. So what I found is that before I actually use this, especially if you're planning on using it indoors at all, you're going to need to basically let the box cook for a little while. So I have a, an oven thermometer. This is just a simple oven thermometer. It's designed to either sit on the rack or you clip it onto the rack. And it'll tell you how hot your, your oven is getting. Since this is basically an oven, what I like to do is take this and put it down at the bottom so that when I close the lid and I look down at it from through one of these holes, I can actually see the numbers. So with the bulbs I have in here, and now the bulbs I have are I have two 250 watt heat lamps. I have those on the bottom and I have the 150 watt incandescent up at the top. The reason I have it that way is because the top heats up the fastest. So I don't need a very hot bulb at the top. The heat lamp on the very bottom is there to ensure that when you put a pipe in here, the bottom of the pipe heats up just as much as the rest of it. You know, there isn't any active airflow in here. If there's anything, it would be uh, just a mild convection from rising and falling air. So that's the reason why I have those lights. With this setup right here, it takes about five minutes to get to about 200 degrees. Once it gets to 200 degrees, it's at a good temperature. You can go ahead and put a pipe in here. And in about five minutes, it'll heat the pipe up enough where you can flatten it. And it takes about 10 to 20 minutes to hit about 300 degrees. Once it hits about 300 degrees, it'll stay there for about half an hour. And it'll go up to about 350 in about an hour or two. So once it starts getting higher up, it takes a while to heat more. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to turn this on, and you're going to need to let it sit for about half an hour to an hour. I would say, to be on the safe side, let it run for an hour. You know, you want to check on it every 5-10 minutes, make sure that it's fine, that thing's burning, it's not on fire or anything. But, you know, the, of the ones I've built so far, this thing can handle about 400 degrees. That's about as high as it gets, it doesn't really do anything. And, you know, I've run this thing for about three hours straight with no problems with this type of box. Now, heating it that high, it's going to probably put some bad stuff into the air. The whole point is we're trying to get it all out now, or as much of it out now so it's not a problem later. So I've gone ahead and I've opened up the windows in the garage and make sure that nobody else comes in here. So I'm just going to turn it on. I'm just going to check on it and I'll see you guys in about an hour. So I'll see you guys later. So once you've run the box through, it's pretty much ready to go. To use this, all you're going to need to do is, like we did in the intro video, just take your pipe and put it down inside of here and let it sit. It should take about three to five minutes to heat a pipe to the point where it can flatten. Just wanted to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.